In the last few updates there have been a number of changes to the gun dispersion for both the Gau-8 Avenger on the Warthog, but also the M61 Vulcan found on many DCS aircraft. We'll be taking a look at the changes specifically for air-to-ground, this is by no means a scientific analysis nor am I an expert on how the guns should perform, but I thought it would be interesting to visualise the changes. These videos were created by playing back the same replay file before and after the updates to the weapons of each aircraft starting in roughly the same position to give a similar run result each time. We'll start with the GAU-8. The Warthog's gun has received a rather substantial reduction in dispersion, bullets are grouping much tighter so it'll be a little easier now to rip open light armour although I've still found the gun to not be terribly effective at taking out heavier targets. Those of you dating back to Lomac will remember just how deadly the Avenger was against tanks, of course this was not necessarily accurate. In DCS the further you shoot from the greater the visible improvement is going to be, as you might expect there will be fewer outlying rounds now being present. Rather interestingly you can now see much more clearly the differences in ballistic trajectory from the two ammunition types loaded in combat mix with the API rounds landing forwards of the HEI rounds, when firing from long range. The changes for the Vulcans starting with the Hornet are less pronounced. Because of the very short 0.8 slant range of the gun sight on the Hornet you'll notice much less of an improvement. It's definitely tighter than before, but the Hornet's gun remains a very difficult tool to use in air to ground because of just how dangerous it is to get into the in range queue. Since it does not provide accurate sighting until the queue at about 0.8 nautical miles, compared to the Tomcat and Viper, which can shoot accurately from about 2 nautical miles. I've no idea why there is such disparity here, of course they're not all fired from exactly the same speed and altitude, but having the Hornet Pipper be inaccurate, whereas the others are, at this range is a little odd. The Heat Blur's Tomcat Vulcan is still more accurate than any of Eagle Dynamics' aircraft with Vulcans even with the recent changes, although they are definitely closer than before, the differences are reduced as you fire at closer range. The F-16 stands to gain the most from this update since it's got an accurate pipper at ranges greater than the Hornet. This looks like a step in the right direction, I'm interested to hear what those who have studied the weapons think. I hope you've enjoyed, and take care.